Hey guys, today we're going to talk about what a double cleanse is and my top three balms and oils that I use for step one. Let's get started. I'm Kelly and welcome to Kelly Media, where we discuss all things skincare, beauty, and lifestyle for those of us over 50. If you've ever wondered about double cleanse, maybe you've heard about it on here on YouTube or Instagram or somewhere else and wondered just what are they talking about and is that really something I need to be doing, then you are absolutely in the right place. So we are gonna talk about my top three that I love and rotate through uh, for a double cleanse and how to do it and why it matters. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video and I'm gonna share with you where you can find some samples of some different cleansing balms and oils that you can try before you make the commitment to a full size package. Let's do a quick history of what double cleanse is and maybe where it came from. So a lot of people think it came from the geishas in Japan. Uh, if you're familiar with that, they wear this full face of very white makeup and getting off that kind of greasy makeup is not an easy thing to do and thus the double cleanse. So the double cleanse just briefly is first you cleanse off with a balm or an oil to get the makeup and other impurities off of your skin and then you move into a normal cleanse of your face. The main reason to do a double cleanse is to get the sunscreen that you are of course wearing every day off of your skin and all your makeup and other pollutants and impurities that have gathered there during the day. You want to get those off before you go to bed at night. So you step one of the double cleanse is to use a, a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. And then step two is to go in with your regular facial cleanser. I'm going to start with my top three that I have been using for the first step of my double cleanse and I'm going to start with this item right here. This is Palmer's, let me get the name exactly right, Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. This is a great place to start. This is where I started doing my double cleanse and the reason is um, it was eight dollars, actually a few pennies less than that. I picked this up on Amazon. It was really you know, it's like, why don't I just give this a try and see what happens? I really like this. Um, you can see it's almost gone. I'm down to the bottom, but um, I used this until I decided I want to try some other ones. I have to be honest, this does have a rose hip fragrance that I don't personally love, but it's not so offensive that I didn't use it, obviously. Um, but I keep this around and I will finish this. I use this after a bike ride or a hike where I have been outside and I have a lot of sunscreen on my body. I take this with me into the shower and do a double cleanse to get that sunscreen off because this is great at cutting right through it. Now coming in at number two, I've got the miniature size here today. Um, this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is a classic and I want to show you, I didn't do this with the oil because it's fairly self-explanatory you know, what the consistency is, but I want to show you this. So I've got a little, little makeup and cleanser spatula thing. So when you go to use this, you take it out and it's, it seems kind of chunky at first. It immediately, immediate, and I mean fast, melts right in with uh, the warmth of your body and just is this really nice, um, you know, really nice cleanser. I love this. I'll tell you what I love about this one the most. You can use it around your eyes and so you can use this to take your eye makeup off as well. I personally don't do that. That's not part of my routine. I do like to sit down in the evening and take off my makeup first with a dedicated eye makeup remover and get my eye makeup off. That's just me but you absolutely can put this around your eyes. It's safe to do that. And again this is the miniature size that I keep for travel. Uh, and it comes in what we might call a regular size. And they recently came out with a much bigger tub of this if you're a big fan. Now this one is three, not this one in particular, but the normal size is 3.8 ounces and it's $36. You can find this Sephora, Ulta, you know, Nordstrom. Now, da-da-da-da, my number one choice. 
Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff, I have to tell you. So what it is about this, it's the consistency of it. Um, let's get just a little bit of that out and you know, it just melts right in. There's no, like with the Clinique, um, it does melt right in too, but this is already in that consistency that we want. Um, I love that, but I'll tell you, the smell. So to me, the smell is like going into a really nice spa and having a spa day. And so I get a spa day every night when I take off my face makeup. This does have, have a scent, you know, like I said, I really enjoy that scent, which is a little surprising to me, for me, because I'm not a big scent person, but because it sort of takes me to this other place, I really enjoy it and definitely recommend it. They do make one called Naked that is unscented, if you want to try that. Let's talk for just a minute about how we do the double cleanse. So we're going to take one of our balms or oils. We're going to start there. We're going to massage that into the face. Enjoy it. Wonderful. I take it down. I wear sunscreen all the way down here. So I'm, I'm taking it all the way down there. Then you take something like a microfiber washcloth or I like these little makeup eraser cloths and get that damp, and then you're just gonna wipe off all of that balm. There it goes, it's gone. Rinse this out. Then you move on to step two and whatever product you might like for that. And that's essentially it. It's not like it takes a whole bunch more time or is some fancy procedure that you're doing. It has become completely routine to me and I cannot imagine washing my face at night without it because of the sunscreen that I use every single day on my face. Now, I wanted to share one other thing with you and that is where to find sample sizes of some of these products and other brands as well uh, that you might find and want to try. You know, this, um, I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, this one is about $66 and it says it's 100 grams and which is 3.5 ounces. So, you know, this is gonna last me quite a while, like no problem, five months maybe, six months. Um, but what I did before I went ahead and invested in the full size is I bought a smaller sample size. It was a little bigger than this little baby Clinique that I have, but it lasted me six weeks and it really gave me a chance to see if I like this product or not, and I did, so then I purchased it. I lucked out when I bought it. It happened to be on a Nordstrom sale uh, around the end of August. They had another one of their sales and I think I got it for $56, so a little bit of a savings. So where you're gonna find these samples? A couple of places. I actually got mine on eBay, but I do have a little caution there that I wanna share with you about buying things like this on eBay. These do have a shelf life, so you'll want to find out before you purchase one you'll want to get the little code off of the bottom and you can actually put that into a website and see uh, when it was created and what the shelf life will be really important and the reason i know this is i had bought the sample size and it was great and so i went ahead and bought another one and it was you know it was like 35 dollars. i was really excited about that i thought i was getting some big savings well then i opened it and it did not smell right. It absolutely did not smell right. I thought, okay, is it just me? Am I forgetting what it smells like? No, it was not right. And so I took the code off the bottom, looked on a website, um, and yeah, it was expired. So we gotta be careful about that. So just be aware, that's my caveat with eBay and finding things on eBay. Make sure they're sealed, but also ask if, if they don't have in the pictures the code, make sure you can get a picture of the code and check it before you purchase. The other place that you can find sample sizes, you can find them on Amazon, amazingly. I had no idea until pretty recently that you could do that. Um, I have picked up samples at Sephora and Ulta. This little guy, I'm happy to say, came from Sephora with some of my points from ordering from Sephora. I think it was 100 points and I thought, why not? I love this and this is a cute little thing to take on a trip. Now, I would love to hear 
your thoughts on double cleansing. Is it something that you do currently? Are you thinking about doing it? Do you have a product that you use and love that you maybe could recommend to me? I would love to hear in the comments. Or if there's one that you're interested in, I'd be willing to do a review of that if you'll let me know what it is. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. If you want to subscribe, I will be doing weekly videos and it'll be skincare, beauty, and lifestyle for the over 50 group. And I'm going to put a link in the description to my all-time favorite YouTube creator. And I'm going to include a link to a video where she specifically uses the Clinique Cleansing Balm. She goes through her whole nighttime routine. But if you want to see someone using that balm and how nicely it takes off the makeup, I think you'll be impressed. I'm going to include that. Her name is Angie. Her channel is called Hot and Flashy. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.